Hi, I'm John. I just want to quickly take you through uh, downloading Target 400 and FTPing it across to your system. Uh, first, you go to the download page and then click the appropriate copy you want for your system. I'm, I'm choosing the V6 and V7R1 version for uh, download, uh, the FTP version. So just uh, grab it off the download page, save it to your desktop it uh, actually downloads it as a winzip file so when this is concluded we should have uh, a zipped file on our desktop and yes there we do so uh, the next step is I want to create a save file on the IBM I so I do that by using the create save file command I stick it in QGPL so there, there we go, we've created a save file. Then we need to unzip what we've downloaded. So normally you just double click on the zip file, it opens it up. And then if you drag the contents out, it will unzip it. And this is the uh, file we want to FTP across to the save file which we created in QGPL. So there we have it. Can get rid of the zip file, we don't want that. Now what I do is uh, when I'm doing this kind of thing, I just put the 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 file I want to move across directly onto the C drive, then I don't have to uh mess around with kind of convoluted path names and what have you. So I just cut and paste it. Put it directly onto the C drive. And there, there it is. Now we need to FTP that across. I'm using Windows XP to do this for this demo, but the process is more or less the same in Vista or Windows 7. So now I connect using FTP to the server, sign in, and use binary image, so it's a stream file. Then in V6R1 and V7R1 there's been a problem with it using passive mode, so what I've done here is I've just set the server that on the IBM I side to use passive. Sorry, it is a problem with extended passive mode, which is the new default shipped with FTP for the new versions. So then we just want to put the file across and there it goes. And there we have it, the file's been transferred. So I'll just get out of this, we're done with it. Now I'll jump back over to the 400 side. If we display the save file, you should have the product target 400 library in it. And there it is, we, we've got uh, what we need. And then uh, from there, it's pretty straightforward. Just do a restore lib of uh, target 400 from that save file you created in QGPL. And we should get about 429 objects restored across. And there we have. So then just uh, run the uh, load routine. which is LODNMC, and there we go. So at this point, you would uh, contact us, uh, give us the displayed activation code, and we would uh, email you a password uh, to get it started and 